I'm Susan and I work at the Common Room in Newcastle. We're going to be bringing you a new challenge each week that you can do from the comfort of your own home. We loved seeing the boats that you made last week and they held so much treasure. The idea for this week's challenge comes from our beautiful building in Newcastle which has this stunning stained glass window in the wood hall. We'd like you to make a stained glass window. Okay, so maybe not a real one. Sand has to get to 1,700 degrees Celsius to melt and make glass. That's incredibly hot. And it uses metallic compounds to make the different colours. You'll need to get creative to find something translucent to make your window out of. That means that it lets some light through. You could use permanent markers, whiteboard pens or nail varnish to colour in something plastic from your recycling. Just remember to protect your clothes and surfaces first. Or you might have tissue paper or quality street wrappers. If you've got a grown-up to help you, you could even try melting boiled sweets on a stove or in the oven. I've only got clear mint, so I've added food colouring. I think different coloured jelly could make a good window too. Just remember to ask for help before using anything hot like a stove in your kitchen. If you don't have any of those things, then why not design your own stained glass window on paper? The impressive stained glass windows in the common room have been there for nearly 150 years. There are some great images in the circles like a Stevenson safety lamp and a parrot. We'd love to see your creations, so please share them with us, tag us and use the hashtag CommonGoodChallenge. We'll showcase some of the best ones in next week's video, so good luck and get creative!